Hey, hey guys, this is Herbie again, and I'm going to be going through uh, another tutorial. Uh, this is for the AGM 65K and AGM 65G. Now, I've done one tutorial for these, but uh, there's apparently an easy way of doing it, so I thought I would uh, show that. So, these are the Mavericks that aren't laser guided, these are the uh, image guided ones where you have to lock onto a target using a little camera uh, and then fire at it. Now, finding the target with the camera is quite difficult, but if you use the TGP as your uh, SOI uh, to find the target and then bring up the Maverick, then it will slew onto uh, where your TGP is, which makes it a lot easier. So, first of all, I'll... my target is uh, a group of CSAT tanks on that road over there, and my TGP is not pointing exactly at it. Uh, I'll go nice and slow to make it easier for me. Uh, and I also want to show the two different cameras. So the K and the G both have different cameras. Um, okay, so uh, the K has got a black and white camera, whereas the G has got a. Um, an infrared camera. So you bring up now the Maverick screen, which is on the other side of LST Mav, you'll see that it has automatically locked on to where my TGP is. If I change my point of interest to the uh, Maverick screen, or my screen of interest, sorry, the Maverick screen, and do um, TMS up, it will lock the target, and then I can just fire. And then you'll see my TGP on the left, uh, that tank hopefully exploding. There you go. So that is firing the AGM. Okay, uh, relatively simple. Uh, get your TGP onto the target, and then uh, open the Maverick, and then the Maverick will be slewed onto your TGP if your TGP is your screen of interest. And I have another tutorial which goes on about how to select your screens of interest, uh, which is the TMS DMS uh, or TMS slash SOI tutorial. Uh, that was the AGMK. So you saw the little um, the Maverick screen was. Uh, black and white and I'm going to show you the AGMG while I engage this tank. Uh, so I'll try not to crash while I'm near my TGP. So again I've got my TGP directly over the target. If I get my AGM 65G out and turn around so that I can face where the TGP is. Is. So there we go. So I now click Mav. There you go, I've got that is roughly where my target is, and you can see it's actually quite difficult to see the uh, vehicle because it's not got its engine on. But my crosshair is over the vehicle that I want to engage, which is this vehicle here. So if I make the Maverick, my screen of interest, and press TMS up. That will lock onto the target. I can then fire my missile. Because uh, I've got no more Mavericks left, the Maverick screen will turn off, but it's okay because I've got my TGP where I can watch, hopefully, a tank exploding. And there you go. Much easier than my other way of doing it, uh, which was to find the target manually with the camera. Uh, so this doesn't work if you've just got your TGP on it like this. Uh, your TGP has to be one of your two screens and then the Maverick will automatically lock onto where your TGP is aiming and automatically um, ground stabilise which means all you have to do is zoom in, make sure you're directly on the target with the Maverick camera uh, and then press lock and you saw the two different types, the AGM65K and AGM65G the K being uh, a simple black and white image and the G being uh, a thermal infrared camera uh, which is obviously useful for targets that have a thermal signature as my tanks that I'm using as a target don't have their engines on uh, they were quite hard to see on the uh, thermal site and uh, yeah that's it uh, go blow things up uh, and enjoy I'll leave the other one up but I will uh, put a little note on it saying don't use this one use this video uh, thank you very much and cheerio